Hello everyone, it's uh, Nolik McGuinness here from Galway 2020 with a short message to everybody in the Be Loud project. Uh, we just want to say a massive well done and congratulations on uh, arriving at this point with your project. Uh, the Be Loud project, which is from Small Towns Big Ideas, uh, started in 2019 and it's amazing to think that in April 2021 uh, you're finally culminating your project with this fantastic exhibition. Um, you've been uh, exploring biodiversity through art, poetry and other activities and created this lovely project. So well done everybody. Uh, a special well done and thanks to the, uh, all of the children in the school, to the teachers uh, and to the, uh, the artists involved and everybody that's been involved in us there in Kiltiran National School. Uh, so from all of us at Galway 2020, well done to you. Uh, it's been a pleasure and a privilege for us to be able to work with you and uh, good luck in the future. Goodbye everyone. My name is Breed Bendon, Deputy Principal of Kiltiran National School and Project Coordinator for Be Loud. This project began in October 2019 and was launched by Ina Nilauna, grant aided by Galway County Council and Galway 2020 Small Towns Big Ideas. The project has four distinct phases. It began um, with the learning phase, which was where we invited experts to come in and talk to the children about pollinators and how to create and conserve pollinator friendly habitats. We focused in particular on the bee. The second phase then was to express this learning through the children's writing and art and we were helped with this by Veronica, our artist. The third phase then was to put this into action by planting around our school grounds and on the verges outside our school. The fourth phase is the, possibly the most exciting and lasting legacy of this project which was to encourage the children to take all these ideas and information home to the school community and to council level where we hope to influence the council's policy around maintaining and planting verges on roadsides, roundabouts and public parks. I want to thank everybody who was involved in this project, especially the staff here in Kiltirna National School, Edel Leach, our principal, Emer O'Doherty and Deirdre Ford and our special needs assistants, Bridget and Brenda, and all the really creative children who worked on this project. And the work behind me is testament to what they did since Easter this year, despite all the interruptions by COVID. I'm delighted to say that Ian and Ilana has agreed to narrate a short film showing you our work. I hope you like it. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Ada Nilona, and it's great to be able to talk to you today about a subject that's dear to my own heart, bees. I want to congratulate all you pupils on the completion of your project, The Bee Loud Glade. It's a credit to you all, I have to say. I was invited to Kiltiernan National School in October 2019 to launch a project called Buzzing, which was later called Be Loud Glade, a reference to W.B. Yeats's poem, The Lake Isle of Inish Free. Now this was very apt because it evokes the sound of bees humming in open spaces, in woodlands, in hedgerows, a wonderful sound that we need to hear more of. Be Loud Glade was also apt because the school is close to two places which are associated with Yeats. Tour Bally Lee, his home for a number of years, and Cool Park, where the Gregory family welcomed him many times during his life. This project was one that I was very happy to launch because there has been such a decline in pollinator friendly plants, shrubs, and wildflower meadows. And this has caused a great reduction in the population of pollinators such as bees, which of course is the focus of this project. After that, Many other people followed in my footsteps and they showed the children how to help bees. They showed them how to understand the work involved in beekeeping. They showed them how to understand how pollination happens. They showed them what to plant for pollinators and how pollinator friendly plants are used in cooking and indeed in perfumes. The children in Kildare in the National School were given a marvellous opportunity by their teachers to learn more about biodiversity about the interdependence of living things, the absolute necessity of having pollinators to pollinate flowering plants, which after all, provide us with everything from fruit to coffee. This project, Be Loud Glade, has, I believe, also come to describe this school itself, a hive of activity and action. They have planted hedgerows and wildflowers, they do their part in conserving and developing pollinator-friendly habitats 
and they have also taken action by planting pollinator friendly spaces around school. And indeed, you know, this is something that we must all do if we want to save our pollinators and all the other living things which depend on them for survival. The children here understand that the loss of bees would cause major rippling effects across ecosystems, including human food systems. Fruit and vegetables are mainly insect pollinated. Without bees, human nutrition would suffer and make us heavily reliant on cereals and grains, which are wind pollinated. The children of the Kiltirna National School have responded artistically to all they have learned by writing poetry, and responding through art and stories. They are worthy advocates of this very special creature, the bee. The exhibition of their artwork and writing is displayed in hexagonal boxes, the shape of a cell in a hive. The completion of this project on April the 30th, 2021, despite the extraordinary constraints that COVID has placed on us all, is a huge achievement and will leave, I hope, a lasting legacy. As Greta Thunberg has said, I have learned that you are never too small to make a difference. Let their be loud message be heard and may it create positive ripples across this school's community and beyond for many years to come. Well done, Kiltiernan National School. My box is about Saint Gobno it when she was when she found herself living in Ballyvorney where she built her monastery and found nine white deer grazing the mountains overlooking Derry Nasagarth. Bee! Bee!